Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have another what's sold on Poshmark and eBay video to share with you guys today. So I'm so excited to share with you guys as usual the items that have been selling for me recently. So you wanna check out all the items I sold during this two week stretch, definitely keep on watching. For those of you who might be new, thanks so much for checking this out. I'm a full-time working mom, but in my spare time, I love making videos on fashion, beauty, mommy lifestyle, in addition to reselling as well. So if those kind of things sound at all interesting, definitely check out my other videos and also consider hitting that subscribe button too if you like this kind of content. Okay guys, so as per usual, I'm going to take you through two weeks of sales on Poshmark and eBay. Scratch that, there are no sales on eBay during this two week stretch, which I'm super sad about because I was hoping to build my eBay sales a little bit more this year, but I will just have to try again the next block. So in this video, I'm only gonna be covering sales on Poshmark because that's all I made during this two week stretch. And out of full transparency, I'm gonna share with you guys every single sale I made and tell you a little bit about each item and the sales price and my take home earnings from Poshmark. If you are new to Poshmark and interested in making your first purchase, definitely consider using my referral code. It's modmommd. So when you first log into Poshmark, put in that referral code and ultimately make your first purchase anywhere on the site, you will save $10. So in this video, I'm gonna be covering the weeks of January 16th and January 23rd. So two full weeks of sales. And this two week stretch fell into my period of no listing. Yes, no listing for about six to eight weeks for many different reasons I've talked about so many times. The holidays were busy, and in January, I actually had to work a lot in the hospital too, especially with the recent COVID surge. So I just didn't get around to listing anything, and I still made a few sales here and there, so that's really what I'm going to share with you. The good news is that after this two-week stretch I'm going to talk about, I did start listing again. Not a whole lot, nowhere near what most of you do, but um, I did list a few more things, so hopefully my sales will reflect that in the upcoming videos. All right, so I'm just going to go and jump into my Poshmark sales, and I had some pretty good ones despite the fact that sales were overall a little bit down for me during these two weeks. So the first sale was this beautiful pair of black patent leather pumps from Stuart Weitzman. It's a size six and a half. Just can't get any more classic than this, a beautiful black patent pointy toe pump from a great brand. So this particular pair of shoes sold for best offer of $55. So my net earnings are $44 on this beautiful pair of pumps. So Stuart Weissman is a brand that I used to get really excited about. I own several pairs of Stuart Weissman um, shoes and wedges, and I love them. I love the line. As you know, the retail price points are pretty decent for this brand. What I've experienced, though, is I think for reselling, it's just not so great. I don't think it retains its resale value quite so much, such that now I tend to leave it behind unless it's an excellent, excellent condition or a very, very trendy style. Um, other than that, I tend to leave Stuart Weissman behind these days, which just kills me because I personally love Stuart Weissman's shoes. It just doesn't resell well for whatever reason. So I was glad that those shoes finally moved along. So the next item that sold was another retail arbitrage find. And I think I've talked about one of these items every single What Sold video over the past couple. And that's a beautiful pair of new Ugg boots. So this particular one was called the Jita Twinkle Bow Mini Black Suede Boots. It was new at tags and new at box because it was retail arbitrage. It was in a size six. And this is maybe one of my favorites of that haul that I picked up just because it was black. So it's very neutral, it goes with everything, but it had some flair because it had the glitter finish and it had the beautiful bow detail. So I personally love these pair of boots. I almost wanted to keep them for myself, but they didn't quite fit. So I decided to resell them. And this sold for, I believe, full asking price of $140, and my net earnings were $112. So I made a decent profit off of these boots, even though they were retail arbitrage. I think Ugg, this time of year in particular, obviously sells very well still, such that I still consider picking them up. It's hard to find Uggs oftentimes in good condition, though, in the thrift stores, just because people wear them in inclement weather and snow and rain and mud. So you have to be a little wary of that, but Uggs, for me at least, still sell pretty well, despite what people say about them. I think they might be making a comeback, so stay tuned. Um, but I was really happy this particular pair of boots moved along. All right, the next item was another pair of booties. It was from Steve Madden. These were the Plover suede leather booties in a size 9. 
and I thought this was just a very classic type of booty. Steve Madden is a pretty solid bread and butter type of brand for me, so I was excited that these ultimately moved along. I sent out an offer to Likers on this one for $38. My shipping discount was $1.50, so my net earnings were $20.90. So I made a pretty good profit on these. These booties are just classic, go with everything. You just cannot go wrong. So yeah, I really, really love these particular booties. Okay, so the next item was a little bit of an experiment for me. I did talk about this dress in one of my thrift hauls recently, but it's from the brand Mary Mecco. It's a cotton elbow sleeve shift dress in a size small. So I talked about this as an experiment because I have never tried selling this brand before. I know this brand does a collaboration with Target as well, and I love the designs, but that collaboration I would not pick up if it's through Target. But um, this is not the Target collaboration, it's their just classic brand uh, itself. So I know this retails for quite a bit, and I think there is a following for it. So. I was kind of right in that experiment. Um, this dress sold relatively quickly, I would say, for a pretty good offer of $45. So my net earnings are $36 on this dress. So although the style may not actually be something that I would be drawn for personally, I think there is a following for it, and I would definitely consider picking up this line uh, going forward as well. Okay, the next item was a really fun pair of pumps. It was um, from a line that I think is called Heart and D pink angle strap stiletto heels in a size 8. So I got this in a Thread Up Rescue shoe box, and I used to do a bunch of these, as you'll hear in this channel, especially a few years ago. I since then have stopped buying anything from Thread Up, and I did a whole video as to why I'm done with Thread Up, and um, I will link that below in case you're curious and want to hear me rant a little bit. Um, but I've stuck true to my word and not purchased anything on Thread Up since that video. I do have a credit that I need to use, which is largely why I am so upset with the company. Um, so at some point I will have a thread of haul for that reason, just to get rid of that credit. But um, nonetheless, uh, I have not purchased anything else from them, but this is a shoe that I got from a previous box before that video. So this line I just really was not familiar with. I do see this oftentimes in the thrift stores. But as you can see, this is not resale for much, so I definitely would not pick this up if I was sourcing on my own. But in the rescue box, of course, I'm going to try to resell it because it was in excellent condition. I think it looked really unworn. So I ultimately accepted a best offer of $20. So my net earnings were $16 on this particular pair of shoes. So I thought this shoe was super cute, though. Very fun for going out with the stiletto. It had a little bit of a reptile embossing as well, which I think was super nice. So yeah, I really hope the buyer enjoyed it. The next item was a pair of pants. It was Liz Claiborne Linen Cotton Trousers. This was new at Tags, and it was in a size 10. So these particular pants um, I did get from my mother-in-law just because she was trying to clear out her closet. It was new at Tags. This honestly is probably vintage because I think she probably got it a while ago, but it had the tags on them. It was actually a pretty classic style though, as you can see in linen. So. I figured why not just kind of get rid of it and resell it in my closet. So I did take a little bit of while to sell um, this particular pants, of course. Um, but ultimately, I did accept a best offer of $23. So my net earnings for $18.40. So not bad, of course, just trying to kind of clear out stuff from our closets. Um, so I was happy that ultimately moved along. The next item was a really cool pair of culottes. It was from We The Free or Free People. And it was a denim wide leg culotte in a size 24. So I thought the style was super cute, especially as we're heading into spring and summer months. I think it's just perfect for that. So this particular pair of pants actually sold for full asking price, which I was so happy about and a little surprised about, but happy for $45. So my net earnings were $36 on these culottes. The thing with this pants though is it just took forever to get to the buyer, so I felt really bad about that just because I think there were just delays in shipping. I shipped it out the next day as I always do, um, but it just took a while to get to her. So, um, you know, I always got nervous and every night I would check to see if it was out for delivery. And for whatever reason, it just got hung up. But ultimately, she did get it. I hope she loved it. Um, definitely a cute style. And then I just have one final sale during this two week stretch on Poshmark. And this is from Steve Madden. It was called the Alyssa Gladiator Embellished Sandals in a size eight and a half. 
I did thrift this this past summer when I was on vacation and although I knew that this wouldn't resell for too high a price point given the brand and the style, um, sometimes you're just drawn to certain items and just have a feeling that somebody else would be drawn to them too, if you know what I mean. So that's how I felt about these. I thought they were stunning, super fun, especially as we're heading into spring and summer. I think the sandal would be perfect uh, for a lot of different outfits and styling. Um, and it was just a basic sandal, but as you can see here, it had a ton of embellishment and color. It tied up the ankle and the leg, which is super cute too. So just a fun pop of color. So this one sold for $25, and my net earnings are $20 on these sandals, which for me was pretty good. I was very happy to move it along. And there actually was um, one flaw, which I disclosed. One of the little embellished um, rhinestones had come off. And that was my fear about these kinds of sandals is that sometimes the embellishments fall off. So you definitely have to check them very closely. I did in the store very, very closely. I could have sworn that it was on there and intact. And maybe when I was bringing it home, it fell off. I don't know. Um, but that just goes to show you, even if there are minor flaws, as long as you disclose them, it can still sell for a pretty decent price point. So I'm super happy that these sandals moved along. I think it's perfect as we're heading into the warmer months ahead. Okay guys, so there you have it. Those are all the sales that I made on Poshmark during this two week stretch. So pretty consistent for me, I would say. The next two weeks, hopefully my eBay sales will pick up a little bit more too. We shall see and I will keep you posted all along the way. If you're a reseller like I am, I hope your sales are going really, really well. And thank you again for watching another video. I hope you're staying safe and healthy and I'll see you again in my next one. Bye.